Hi Shashank. Hi Aryan. How I'm, are you? I'm doing my chemistry homework, but I don't know whether it's correct or not. Even I too got the same answer, Aryan. Now what shall we do? Shall we call Deepika sir? Yes, that's the correct idea. Wow. Deepika sir. Hi Deepika sir. Hi buddy. How are you? Fine sir. Fine sir. Yeah, I'm good. What are you doing, guys? We are doing our I chemistry. I am doing homework. my chemistry. Chemistry homework, ah? Ah. Very good. But I don't know which is is it correct or not. I'm here to help you. Hmm. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Give me your pen. Yes. Okay. Good. Very good. What's your homework, sir? How to write the formula of ionic compounds? What is the homework given? Ammonium carbonate, ammonium sulphate. Oh, very easy. I will explain you guys. Okay, listen. How to do this and all in step by step. So to understand to write the formulas of this compound, you need to learn some basic information. Okay, I will give you that basic information here. Okay, now right. Yes. So what you how to do is that first you need to learn this one here. What you how to learn is that first you need to know what is ionic compound. Mm. Okay, now yes sir. Okay, do you know what is ionic compound? No, no sir. No, I will tell you. Don't worry. So the compound which is made up of ions, okay, is known as an ionic compound. Okay, now the compound which is made up of ions is called as a ionic, ionic compound. compound. The next question is that what are ions? Mm. Correct? Ions also you should know that. So now let, let me tell you what is an ion. Ion means the ion is a charged particle. It may carry a positive or a negative charge. Okay, now if a positive charge is here or if negative charge is here, the charged particle is called as a ion. So now here let me tell you how many types of ions are there. So generally, if you go with the types of ions, we have the three types of ions. It is based on which means uh, here it is okay based on okay this is okay based on the charge present on the ion here. Okay now, now let me tell you how it is. So this is okay based on the charge. How many types of ions are there? And the based on the charge means three types of ions are there. Yes. What are they? So one is anion. What is anion means the ion which carries a negative charge. Okay, now if negative charge is there, that is called as a anion. If positive charge is there, that is called as a cation. If both positive and negative charges are there, that is called as a jupiter ion. So three types of ions are there: anion, cation, jupiter ion. Anion carries a negative charge. Cation carries a positive charge. And the jupiter ion carries a both positive and negative charges here. Okay, now now let me tell you some examples for the various cations and anions. You see, guys, here. Okay, let me. Here we are discussing about the examples of cations. So one hint you should remember. Okay, the cation name ends with I U M. I U M. In the name of ion. Okay, if it is ending with I U M, that is called as a cation. You can see that here. Lithium ion, sodium ion, potassium ion. The name of ion is ending with I U M, right? So that means it indicates it's a cation. In the name. Okay, now what you do is that here I given the formulas of some cations here. Okay, lithium ion, sodium ion, potassium ion, rubidium ion, cesium ion, okay, beryllium ion, magnesium ion, calcium ion, barium ion, aluminium ion, and ammonium ion. The formulas are given. Similarly, you should learn okay the names of anions also. So here, let me tell you one hint, one one simple trick I am telling. How to identify the anion from the name means remember here anion name ends with a A T E I T E R I D E. If the name of a ion is ending with A T E I T E R I D E, that is called as a anion. anion. Okay, now you can see I I give some examples here. Okay, fluoride ion F minus, chloride ion C L minus, okay, bromide ion B R minus. Iodide ion I minus oxide okay peroxide are you seeing the names are ending with ID right mm. so these are the formulas of the respect to ion so oxide O minus two peroxide O two minus two superoxide O two minus one nitride nitrate nitrate sulfide sulfite sulfate see the name of ions are ending with IDE ITE or it may be also ends with ATE. Now you have seen uh, these are the formulas of the respect to anions. So here you guys see some more anions are given. You must remember the name and its formula here. 
so here you can observe that the names are ending with ite ate okay or ide already we discussed here so hypochlorite clo minus chlorite clo2 minus okay chlorate clo3 minus perchlorate clo4 minus acetate ch3coo minus like that carbonate phosphide phosphate phosphate like this first what you have to do is that you should know the name of ion and how to identify whether it is a cation or anion means if the name of ion is ending with IUM that is cation mm. if it is ending with ITE, IDE or ATE that is called as a anion anion, anion carries a negative charge cation carries a positive, positive charge. charge okay right now let us see how to write the formulas of the salt so for that here we have the some steps here mm. okay only three steps simple steps are these mm. you just to follow this you will answer the questions easily mm. so the first step is that what you have to do is that here some name is given na? okay in your homework okay one name is given what is the name is given ammonium sulfate okay like this sir, the name is given correct na? so what you do is that first you have to identify what is a cation and what is a anion how to identify if the name of ion is ending with ium that is a cation mm -hmm. if the name of ion is ending with ate that is a anion so first what you have to do is that write the formula of giving a cation and anion ammonium ion formula mm. okay sulfate ion formula first we have to write okay the formulas already given okay you learn that next after writing the the formulas you should find the number of charges on the each ion mm. so cation carries how many positive charges mm. anion carries how many negative charges you should write that later follow the crisscross method to write the formula of the salt mm. so do you know what is crisscross method mm. let me tell you what is crisscross method here so crisscross method means it is very simple okay in any salt in any salt the number of cations in the formula of the salt is equal to the number of charges on the anion and the number of anions are equal to the number of charges on the cation let me explain with the suitable examples here so guys here see how to write this means so for example okay for example if you take this compound which compound means uh, ammonium ammonium okay sulfate this is your homework right yes now let me tell you how to write this here mm. so the first step what you have to do you should find what is a cation what is a anion mm. your name is ending with ium therefore this is a cation you first identify that your name is ending with ate so therefore this will be anion mm. okay now right so later in the first step what i told you to write the formula of the ion na? so what is the formula of ammonium ion nh4 plus correct now NH4 plus is a cation formula and the anion formula is sulfate ion sulfate ion formula is a SO4 minus 2 write the charge formulas first here okay. next you should write the second step is that you should write the number of charges here how many positive charges are there one positive charge is here here how many negative charges are there two negative charges are there second step completed okay. next what you have to do is that follow crisscross method to write the formula what is crisscross method means so here see first one thing you should remember whenever you are writing the formula of the salt first you have to write the cations next you have to write the anion so what is a cation here nh4 okay don't write the charge i will tell you about that and the anion is a so4 now what you do you know how many cations you have to write it means so the number of cations are equal to the charge present on the anion here anion carries how many charges two charges so here how many cations you have to write now two cations you have to write mm. number of cations are equal to charge present on the anion mm. and the number of anions are equal to charge present on the cation here how many anions we have to write means only one, one. anion we have to write now if you write this here well, now what you do you know the number of ions you must write at the right subscript side of the formula mm. then you will get the formula of the compound that's all so this is a formula of the ammonium sulfate Wow. wow sir easy right understood yes, yes sir. sir right guys okay so do your homeworks like this okay any salt any salt you can write my advice is that learn all the formulas of the cations and anions and follow the formulas you will do that okay good yes. luck guys okay so